everybody, it's Mr. Neal, and you'll probably notice that I'm outside again today. And what I'm noticing while I'm outside is, it doesn't feel like spring anymore. It feels like summer. And I'm wondering, where did spring go? It was just a moment ago that it was March and we were all in school together, and now it's been months since we've seen each other. And I'm surprised at how fast time is moving and how slow it's moving at the same time. Remember we planted basil seeds and they've grown into little basil plants. And when I look in my garden, I have my first iris blooming. It's a yellow flower right over there in the corner. And I also remember earlier in the year I had shown you my pear tree in my backyard and how it had started to bloom. And now if you look up, you'll see leaves and tiny little pear buds. And so it's got me kind of wondering, where did spring go? And how did I miss it? And how long ago was it? And so today I'm going to read you guys a story that's all about spring and waiting, which we've been doing a lot of recently. And it's called, And Then It's Spring. And it's by Julie Fogliano, and it's illustrated by Aaron E. Stead. First, you have brown. All around you, brown. Then, there are seeds. and a wish for rain, and then it rains. And it is still brown, but a hopeful, very possible sort of brown. And is that a little green? No. It's just brown, sort of brown. And then it's a week. And you worry about those little seeds. And if maybe it was the birds. Or maybe it was the bears and all that stomping because bears can't read signs that say things like, please don't stomp here. There are seeds and they are trying. And then it's one more week. And the brown, still brown, has a greenish hum that you can only hear if you put your ear to the ground and close your eyes. And then, it's one more week. And a sunny day, that sunny day that happens right after a rainy day. And then you walk outside to check on all that brown. And the brown isn't around, and now you have green. All around you have green.
and that's the end of the story. And that's kind of how I feel right now. When we last saw each other, it was brown. And now, everything's green. And that's kind of wonderful. But it's also kind of sad that we didn't get to spend that time together. So I hope that we're all going to see each other very soon. And I hope that we're all staying safe. And I hope that we all get outside and enjoy the warm sun a little bit. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. I'll see you soon. Thank you.